Hi everybody, my name is Orteanu Gheorghe Emilian. I'm the main author of the scientific article The Natural Adaptive Evolution of Cancer, The Metastatic Ability of Cancer Cells, published advanced online in the Bosnian Journal of Basic Medical Sciences. I'm a pathology specialist and a lecturer of pathology at the University of Medicine and Pharmacy Victor Babes Timisoara in Romania, where I'm also doing my PhD in immuno-oncology, that means I study how the immune system works in cancer and how to combat cancer using the immune system. In my article, The Natural Adaptive Evolution of Cancer, the Metastatic Ability of Cancer Cells, I've searched and analyzed the scientific literature regarding the ability of cancer cells to spread to distant sites in the body, the phenomenon known as metastases, and after that I propose a novel mechanism by which cancer cells can spread with the help of another cell, the macrophage. The purpose of the study was to compress what is already known about the metastasis, down to bite-sized chunks of knowledge and to bring forward a hypothesis. Currently, three main pathways try to explain the ability of cancer cells to metastasize but neither one of them fully explains all the observations noted by scientists studying this disease. But my hypothesis describes the nucleus of the cancer cell as a harbinger of metastatic spread in some circumstances of cellular stress. As low oxygen availability, the cancer cell will eject its nucleus as a last desperate attempt to survive. Once ejected, this nucleus would be engulfed by macrophages that are normally found in the microscopic environment of the tumor. This engulfment would lead to a fusion between the nucleus and the macrophage that would generate a new type of cell, a carcinoma fusion cell. This newly generated cell would have the ability to spread anywhere in the body, thus giving rise to metastases. Sometimes, scientific ideas are written down for future exploration when the scientist has time for it and resource for it. Thus, lots of ideas are potentially lost due to these limitations. Given that, the purpose of this study was to share with the scientific community a theory based on observations seen in our laboratory and to encourage scientists all over the world to pursue it. If this hypothesis, this theory, is confirmed, then it will open up new pathways of treatment for oncology patients. For this to happen, careful scientific studies are needed to capture every step described in the theory and to present evidence to the scientific community for evaluation. Thank you for your time and I truly hope I captured your attention.